Pisces, my Pisces. Hello, my dear Pisces, my Pisces, Pisces. Hello, my dear Pisces. What's up, water babies? What's popping? What's going on in the life of a Piscean for the mid month of October 2019? Hmm. Hmm. Are you guys actually manifesting at a very fast rate, might I add, but also going after the things that you love, the things that you're willing to lay it down for. I'm talking about a vision, not the shit that you can see. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> hey, boo, hey, if this is your first time to my channel, I'm Mocha. Also, if this is your first time to my channel, look out, I cuss. I may cuss a little, may cuss a lot, just depending on what the hell these cards say. Oh, but I'm a cuss. So if cussing don't work for you right there now. Feel free to go find another beautiful reader here on YouTube that can further assist you without cussing. This is my shit. I'm going to do that. All right? Also, um, if you are a new subscriber, hey, boo, hey, welcome to the family, y'all. <laughs> we only dysfunctional, okay? 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 Let's get you ready. Because we laugh. Sometimes we cry. We share. We love. We evolve. We enlighten one another. Positive vibes only, okay? Positive things over here, all right? If you're a returning subscriber, hey, family, did you miss me? <laughs> y'all better have to miss me because I love the fuck out of y'all. Y'all y'all better have. If you can't tell that I love a Pisces, your eyes don't work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your feels and the fishy senses is off. Because I fucking love y'all. Okay? So let me see what the hell going on for us for the mid-month of October because I got a Pisces moon. Let's get it. All right? Um, also, you guys, this is not going to resonate with everybody. If you need a personal reading, that information can be found within the description. Okay? Um, this is going to be for, this could resonate for Sun, Moon, Rising, as well as the Venus, as well as the Cross Watchers for the sign of Pisces. Y'all, if that motherfucking shoe is too big, don't try to make them up with fit. Yeah, it's going to fall. All right? If it does not resonate, leave it for someone who does. All right? Let's get into it. Let's roll this thing on up. Roll this beautiful bean footage. <clears throat> also, y'all, in advance, I'm sorry. Thank you all for the likes, the shares, the subscribes, the comments, the donations, y'all, the love. Y'all, y'all don't even know. Thank you so much from the most humblest space ever, okay? I still cry when I get donations and shit. I don't give a fuck how small because it's a whole different to be appreciated. And if I can't talk to nobody about this, I can talk to my fishy babies. To be appreciated, you acknowledge those and you appreciate those who appreciate you. And this is the time when y'all in. Where your ass was at when I was out in, mm, where your ass was at when I, where your ass was at? Where were you when all the dogs needed help? Lawyers in their commissary ain't going to pay themselves. Huh? Where your ass was at when we was in, mm, mm, where the, hey, I take attendance like a classroom, okay? Taking attendance like a classroom, Pisces. Stay woke. Let's get it. For my Pisceans, which y'all fine asses. For the mid-month of October, what I got for you all was esoteric insight, mental health issues, obsession, karma, gossip, finger pointing, compromise, blockages removed, healer, renewals, envious of your glow, travel, new home, resolutions, children's behavior, Boundaries, healthy business collaborations, harmony restored, abundance, sincere apologies, unveiling, legality, legality finalizations, long time coming, divine counterpart. Okay, so that's all I got for you all. All right, so to Pisces, <laughs> y'all know we finna talk about it. Let's do it. Overall energy around the reading, you guys got the Queen of Spades. All right, so some of you all could actually be focusing on what it is that you actually want to invest in. Some of you guys also have some type of uh, major interest when it comes to herbs, um, as well as for some of you all, it has to do with non-modern medicine, okay? Others of you may be very heavy into aesthetics during this time, okay? For some of you all, this also has to do with some type of like healing work, okay? Some of you all may be tarot card readers or very intuitive or also psychics. Some of you all, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling this energy, y'all, of coming out, 
I literally heard, I'm coming out. Mm -mm. I want the world to know. Just to, yes. So you guys, you guys are coming out. You're un unveiling yourself. You're unveiling your true nature. You guys are finding ways to combust that that healing femininity, that feminine energy with that creative masculine, that ambitious masculine energy. And you guys are hitting the pavement and running mid-month of October. Y'all on y'all best shit. Hustler, hustle, hustling, hustling, hustle, hustling, hustling. Some of y'all got Aries in your chart because I actually heard that for Aries as well. Some of y'all could also be dealing with an Aries person. Some of you guys could also be dealing with the Leo or Sagittarius. Others of you, you are having issues with another water sign like your damn self. Uh, there's information coming out about a particular person as well as I'm hearing their motives. Okay, so some of y'all are chopping, chop, chop. You guys are, it's water off the bridge during this time. Okay, for some of you all, this could also have to do with manifestations. Those of you who have been doing whatever type of manifesting rituals you've been doing, Pisces, very strongly, that is coming through. Spirit wants you to know that by the next full moon, I believe some of you guys are going to see a harvesting, okay? So I don't know if this is a new moon. This also has to do with the full moon that just took place in Aries. Some of y'all put out something for that Libra new moon, and you're going to see this harvesting by the next new moon, okay? Some of y'all could also be seeing that now I'm seeing, I'm hearing, okay? And I'm seeing. <clears throat> You guys, angel message that you got was moon cycles. Capricorn got this. Some of y'all could be dealing with Capricorn. Archangel Haniel. Notice how the moon affects your energy and manifestations and capitalize on these cycles. This is about co-creating with the universe, Pisces, okay? Some of you all, I'm also hearing menstrual shifts. So some of y'all, your, 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 your ladies... Ladies, your menstrual might be switching up, okay? It may be more coincided with around the moon cycles, okay? And for some of you all, this is about a spreading of the wings. You guys are experiencing all of this new birth energy. Energy Again, you coming the fuck out with the work that you've done on yourself. You're ready to exude that. You're ready to show the world how boss it is. Yeah, it wasn't how boss you really fucking are. This was not an easy path to go down. This was not an easy journey. And for every motherfucker that doubted me, you're bad capitalize only speak put out write down and journal as well as re repetition some of you all this is about and i know our people are sensitive about this word ritual but if you actually go do some damn research and 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 and, and, and let let uh, google uh, be your friend because it's going to guide you to other sources that can be very assisting to you when it comes to anything put like this <clears throat> a ritual is anything that you do Anything that you do, consistency. So people who wake up in the morning and you smoke a blunt and some coffee, you get you get you a blunt, you get you some coffee, and then you back know that thing with a cigarette while you talk to the Most High or whatever. However you get down, because it's people. Some of y'all is talking to dead people when they hear you, okay? And they moving on your behalf. Some of you all also need to clean off your ancestor ritual. Do not let things. Don't get so busy living out and actually. Taking in these manifestations and also taking in these gifts that has been benevolently granted to you, I'm hearing. Some of y'all have neglected your ancestors who literally moved on your behalf. You got your blessing and you burnt off. Spirit saying, come on back, it's offering time. And they want it by this moon cycle. Some of you all deal very, very, very heavily with Archangel Gabriel. Some of you all deal very heavily with Michael and some of y'all deal with both of them. Okay. Do your research when it comes to an offering. Don't start something and then don't continue doing it. Because when you're using other um, other goddesses and gods and entities from other realms to move, and you, as well as your ancestors, but some of y'all using other entities. I'm going to be honest with you. I see some light and some dark shit up in this bitch, but it's working. What you want to know, Pisces? <laughs> it's, it's working. Shit. But I see it working more so in your favor to assist you with closing out a particular cycle that you're kind of rising out the ashes and going through this rebirth from. So for those of you who was, was experiencing any type of financial difficulties, you're going to actually see that shift as we move into November. OK, it's working. It is a working. OK, so I did pull some uh, some messages for you guys from the Osha Zoom tarot deck. OK, and I'm just trying to check on your subconscious. Ask spirit, I ask spirit what advice that you have for Pisces when, within the mental space. I know y'all my dreamers. Hell, I'll be there too. Okay? So I'm trying to get a little advice. And it, it will take it how it resonates, y'all, because this could cover uh, this could cover your mental space or it could actually cover your career sector. But you know, let's rock. The messages that you all got was courage. 
again, rebirth. I done been tumbled on. I done been stepped on. But do you see how that flower is growing out of the concrete? Spirit wants you to know that no matter what is going on this time, stand up and have courage. A lot of y'all are being used as a vessel to speak up. And bring justice to a situation, okay? You are being divinely led, okay? For some of y'all, you have a female ancestor that is assisting you here. This looks like a matriarchal figure here. This could be a mother or a grandmother who's passed over. I'm also hearing sister for some of you all. But for some of you all, you are being guided by your angels toward this, toward this path of expansion, okay? And for some of you all, this is about turning inwardly and not looking outside of yourself for answers. And understand that you are being used as a vessel, some of y'all could definitely be healers. And you having the courage to step out on faith, follow your guidance, and understand that this sense of being real. But some of y'all are being called to boss the fuck up. Pisces, a lot of y'all are not meant to work for anybody. You think you're just supposed to be dreaming to be on somebody else's fucking clock? People look at y'all dreaming aspect as something negative. But one thing I can respect is a person with a dream because they know where they want to go. They have created their own path. This is about creating your own reality, whatever that may be. I'm hearing some of y'all are artists. A lot of y'all are writers. Some of you all are, uh, some of y'all write books. Some of y'all are publishers. Others of you are engineers and you dragging your damn feet because somebody else told you that it wasn't fucking possible. But do you see, y'all gonna make me cry. But do you see this rose? Coming out of the concrete. Renewals, baby. I may have been bent. I may have been pushed over. I may have been talked about. But I was never broken. I told y'all, family, we cry sometimes. <laughs> Some of you all, there's justice in situations. We are just saying, please co-create with me. Co-create with me. Walk with me, move with me to bring this abundance into your life. Baby, I want to help you. I'm trying to help you. For some of you all, this is about equal, uh, equal, I'm sorry, equal collaboration when it comes to a divine partnership where maybe someone could have been injustice or wronged. Some of y'all could have also been victims of black magic and people keeping you guys. In, in, I'm hearing blockages removed, blockages removed. Archangel Michael wants y'all to know the blockages are removed at this time. Can't nobody stand in your way but you. So for those of you who have fear of this magic, let me tell y'all why magic don't really work on fire signs too much. We strong-willed as fuck. Ain't nobody finna tell me what I ain't gonna do, how I ain't gonna do. You are being called to let your nuts hang, baby. Even if you ain't got nuts, these are theoretical nuts. Put them bitches on the table, okay? And say what you have to say. Be willing to show a motherfucker what you got to show him. But I'm going to make you a believer through my actions. Say less. Show more. Stay humble. But I do see a situation being turned off. I see a lot of you guys laying all of Someone's going to lay all of the cards on the table, Pisces, in a situation where someone could have been being very rebellious or fighting against the connection. Their mental space, their manifestations could have been going against yours. I see you guys walking into harmony, baby. You guys are in this space of unity. If this has to do with the divine masculine, divine feminine, you guys are working together through adversity, baby. And in doing so, shit's moving. It's working. Whoever did this black magic, y'all, they are going to receive karmic justice. You could actually notice that they're doing so already. Pay attention, okay? Pay attention to those. Right now, I'm here for Pisces. Pay attention to people's words. They will tell you their intentions through their through their dialogue. I heard. Got me up in here crying and shit, Pisces. Hmm. Some of y'all, there's communication coming in about a new beginning. About some type of financial abundance. I'm also hearing help. I heard child support. Who oh, cool. kill them? Some of y'all don't even see it coming. Yeah, but some of you all need to make a decision on how you're going to get your money. I need that eight percent of this month of October. And Pisces, this is a nice time for the money mid month October. For others of you, 
If there was any type of third parties, they are being uh, released during this time, especially if you're dealing with a fire sign. Some of y'all making a decision to release a fire sign and move towards an air sign. Gemini Libra Aquarius. Some of y'all are cutting off a water connection as well. With the Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Others of you, others of you, there's equal give and take in a situation, possibly dealing with Capricorn. And for some of you all, there's this reassessment on how much am I giving and what am I receiving? Am I overgiving to a situation? I deserve more. And in making that judgment call, baby, you will be abundant. What messages do you have? October for Pisces. What the fuck is say? Some of you guys are choosing to leave an Earth sign, Capricorn, towards Virgo, or some of you guys are indecisive about somebody who left you hanging when you really needed them. This person could have could have been. This person could have had to choose between you and another person, and this person chose to stay undecided. Now they coming back because whatever person that they chose over you, that person then left their ass. Karma's a bitch when a player get played. Damn it, boy. Some of you all are making a decision. You don't trust. Yeah. Some of you guys also. Some of you guys are feeling undecided regarding a union. Or some type of connection that you deem is toxic. This could have to do with the Capricorn towards Virgo. Someone feels as if somebody is extremely financially like financially dependent on the other person and you make the decision on if you even want to deal with it or not okay for some of you all you could be dealing with the sign of capricorn that feels as if, that feels as if they want to do more for you financially this person kind of feels like their hands are tied do they could be going through their own adversities okay for some of you all this has to do yes okay so there's there's if you are already in an existing relationship, some of you all there is some type of transmute like transmutation or transmuting energy when it comes to love matters, especially for those of you who left a situation behind in the month of September, I'm hearing, or August that was involving a Cancer Pisces Scorpio like yourself. I feel like this person really misses you, Pisces. They want to come in and they want to balance the situation out with you, okay? For some of you all, you in your damn head when it comes to dealing with a fire sign, every feel Sagittarius, because I feel like you've done all that you could do to try to balance the situation, and I feel like you feel very stressed out, okay? With even trying to make this work, I do feel like there's a lot of love with this individual on both ends, but I feel like Whoever this is, they're trying to find balance when it comes to their finances. You and this, you or this other person could be starting over financially or experiencing some type of rebirth or restart somehow. This person, you could also find out this person could have left their home or been put out of a home. Pisces, some of y'all is kicking the fucking earth sign out. Get the fuck out. I don't know why I heard. Get the fuck out with your broke ass. You can't even buy no groceries. Ooh, sis, who that's for? It came through strong. Whoever you are who I just heard, you got a raspy voice. It's a red hair. Yeah. Some of you all could also be receiving communication from an air sign, Gemini Libra Aquarius. This person wants to come clean about a situation in order to bring balance to to bring balance to a union, okay? For some of you all, you may have children with an earth sign, Capricorn towards Virgo. This person, you may feel as if this person is not helping as if they should when it comes to the children. However, for some of you all, you're used to being in a cycle with this individual. You wait for them. This person is kind of trying. Someone is trying to force your back up against the wall to need them. And I see the spirit is going to intervene during this time. And, it, and spirit's kind of going to give you a like, well, this motherfucker tries to close the door. Spirit trying to open up all the windows. Fuck you, bitch. I'm going to go get a new house. Fuck you. Okay. So though speaking of new houses, for those of you, uh, some of y'all is indecisive on if you want to leave a damn job behind mid month of October. I see some of you all making a damn decision to take a leap of faith here and cut that damn shit off, being real with your damn self. Okay. And I feel like it's going to bring balance to you, baby. Some of you all also may be seeing butterflies as well. Those butterflies stand for rebirth, changes coming, the meaning that you're seeing three 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 five five five. For some of y'all, sevens are going to be very important to you guys as well. As well as two, 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 because y'all got two, two, two in the field. Overall, overall outcome though, yeah, there's going to be harmony or harmony bought to a situation with a Sagittarius person who you can have, who you possibly have children with. You may have not, you may not have been speaking to this person for quite some time. 
because you was just really trying to avoid the drama, okay? But, yeah, whoever this Sagittarius person is, they do want harmony as well. I do see an equal compromise in happening here. Uh, also, if you were dealing with um, another Pisces like yourself or a uh, Aries Leo as well, I feel like someone, someone wants to hold on to the other person, but the other person has... Somebody lost hope in a situation. Like, somebody feels as if something can't be fixed. And they're having a hard time getting over some type of betrayal here. Somebody having a hard time moving away from one, from what once was. So I see you guys releasing the situation. Look, I've done, when I've done all that I can do, what have I lost? Okay. Be careful, you guys, when it comes to any type of money scams, money schemes, quick money, get rich, quick ass shit, because I do see somebody to be, or, or, for those of you who are trying to go around, hold on, some of y'all right now are in the process of talking to somebody about a CPN number, yeah, I'm gonna go and go there, that's scamming shit, okay, whoever this person is, Especially if their price is $300, they're going to take your money. Find somebody else. I feel like whoever this person is, what the fuck is their name on this social media site? Because some of y'all is dealing with somebody, they may have a name like Scam Likely or some shit like, listen, this person could have called you from their phone, right? Or when y'all exchange numbers. Whoever I'm talking to, Spirit is trying to warn you, this person number, when they call you, may come up as Scam Likely. They're trying to tell you something. Listen before you be out of your money and you already in such a tight spot, whoever I'm picking up on. Somebody's going to dye their hair purple. And whoever the purple haired woman is, because it's a woman. Why your ass ain't modeling? Hmm. Hmm. That's your new beginning. <sighs> Sorry, y'all. That was for one purple haired ass person. <laughs> Fucking love y'all. Let me clarify a little bit. Spirit, why is the temperance here? Some of you all also, for those of you who have been wanting to uh, get pregnant or conceive, the energy looks damn good. Damn good. Around this next new moon. For some of you, some of y'all are dealing with the sign of Scorpio. Some of y'all could be walking away from a Scorpio. Somebody is making a manipulative offer to you just to keep you in their life because they actually feel the disconnection. Some of y'all could be could be cutting cords from the sign of Scorpio. And somebody, if you're dealing with a Scorpio, I feel like this person is going through a transformation. And this person is really trying to save them. I'm hearing save themselves. They're trying to save themselves because they're avoiding this whole aspect of being alone or for that matter, being self-sufficient because they're so used to people carrying them. And I feel like at one point you kind of fit that bill, but at this point you're getting tired of hearing excuses from a motherfucker who showing you that they don't have your back when you need it. Okay, that's for a few of y'all. For some of you all, there's a whole lot of indecisiveness when it comes to an air sign energy. Some of y'all think that this person is batshit crazy and you know that they got stalker tendencies, so don't do it. Trust what you feel. Some of y'all got a Leo that you have children with mad at you because, because you are going on this new beginning. And some of you all also are renewing a situation with the Leo. Where maybe you guys, there could have been some type of power struggle or ego struggle in the past. Now this person wants to, they want to compromise with you, Pisces. They want to give you an offer. For those of you who are dealing with a Sagittarius, this person wants to apologize. They, they really want their family back, Pisces, whoever this Sagittarius person is. I feel like some of y'all are going to be co-parenting in a healthy way with the Taurus, but you're not going to deal with this person. For some of you all, you are. But for some of you all, this is a karmic partner. And you're, you're noticing a synchronicity that when you leave this person out, your money increases. So some of you guys are choosing to walk away for your own harmony and balance within self as well as to save your money to invest in yourself. Come on, good shit, Pisces. Talking about growth? Shit. Growth. Some of you all definitely got two soulmates that you... That you're wanting to choose from. I feel like some of y'all in love with two people. I feel like one person you have a very passionate connection with. You have a very spiritual connection with. You can really um, understand this person. And the other person is more so of a practical relationship. You feel bored with that person. 
why is the two of cups here with the damn two of swords? Yes, because you don't know who the fuck, who, some of y'all is dating two people. And you like, listen, I'm going to choose the one to put the most work in and act like they want to keep me. Some of you all, this could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, a earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, or an air sign involved in that situation. Some of y'all is fire. Four of Pentacles here with the five of Pentacles. Yes, you're indecisive. Some of you all don't know if you want to hold on to a situation and let it go. And that alone is creating a sense of mental sick. I'm, I'm hearing mental sickness. Some of y'all are becoming mentally ill, obsessing over a situation that you tried your damnest to bring together. You just don't have full clarity. I do see that you're getting that full, that full clarity. Some of y'all could be finding out that someone moved on. Okay. Some of you all could also be choosing to cut off an Aries and walk away with this person, walk away from this person. And it's actually going to bring in some type of transformative energy that's going to bring in an abundance in finances for you. I feel like you and this person could possibly not have gotten things off the ground because of either the instability in either one person or both people. This is like a whole start over. But having um, having an understanding and no hard feelings. Still maintaining that aspect of unconditional love, but understanding the journey and the aspect of reasons and seasons, honey. Why is the devil here? Daughter of Pentacles, y'all. Somebody, if you was dealing with a Capricorn who had a hard time opening up, this person is finna talk, honey. I love you, Pisces. I love you. That's what they want to say. I said it for Some of you all are just about this close from cutting off a fucking uh, water sign. And as soon as you do, you're going to jump right into a relationship with the earth sign. A new person. For some of you all, it's an Aries person that is new. A Leo person from your past or a Sagittarius person from your past that you didn't even see coming. Okay? So, like, whoever y'all have to leave behind, this is like practice. And it's also, well, I, I feel like practice when it comes even to your career sectors. Not taking less than what are you what you worth. Don't dumb down your pro like don't dumb down your prices to please cheap ass people. They need to go to somebody else who charged that cheap ass shit. You ain't lost shit. In fact, when you exude, when you exhibit that self worth, spirit blesses you. <laughs> They're like, oh, okay, you ready for that now? Okay, you passed the test. Let's roll. Next level. Why is the ace of swords here with the food? Hmm. For some of you all. This has to do with either you or another person definitely got two people to choose from before they take a solid leap of faith, okay? Why is the daughter of swords here with the death? Yeah, some of y'all are cutting off a past life soulmate or someone from your past. You're choosing to completely walk the fuck away. I'm done. I can't do it. For some of y'all, it's a water sign. Scorpio is here. For others of you, it's an air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And for some of y'all, it's this damn fool, an Aries person, okay? Yeah. You're indecisive about an ending right now. You're kind of confused about... An ending because you feel like you've invested so much into it. Spirit is saying the best is yet to come, baby. You've, inv you've invested into it, but was the investment equal? Was there equal give and take? Can you honestly say you received what you invested? Because when you think, as soon as I said that shit, when you think about that aspect, you be all in your fucking head, and then you be blaming yourself. Damn, what were you right? Cause that motherfucker, I should have been there. No, 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 no. We're not going to do that. We had to understand this lesson to be able to appreciate our blessing. But in order to get our blessing, funny, we got to move away. Let it go. Five of them, five times. This is also addressing your abandonment issues and your fear of being by yourself. In this space of you gaining this enlightenment, will you truly see what love is and what it ain't through your own fucking personal experiences? There ain't no right and wrong. Only wisdom to be gained. Okay? So overall, Spirit, what's your advice for my Pisces for mid-month? In fact, let me not pull from there. Angels, what messages do you have for Pisces? <clears throat> this mid month, on the angel message to roll out on. I got my Barbieri cards in here, so if any zodiac files fall off, you guys, I'll share them with you. What messages do you? Damn, as soon as I said that, any zodiacs fall out? Okay, well, who did fall out and they jumped out? They almost fell out, so I'm gonna go and take them. 
They want they was like this close. Got three of them, y'all. I got Gemini. I got Taurus. I got Sag. Oh, angel message. Hmm. Yes, honey. Gifts from God. <laughs> Archangel Sandifon. We angels bring you gifts from your creator. Open your arms to receive. Honey, do you see that big ass cup? Spirit trying to give you a big ass cup. You supposed to be in this space of reflection, re reflecting, planning, renewing your relationship with spirit as well as yourself so you can recognize that bullshit that's going to block you from your big ass cup. Trust yourself as well as the guidance that you're receiving from um, your angels and your ancestors, baby. Okay? So if you guys need a person to read and y'all hit me up, I'm going to put up a dope ass sale real soon. So I'm trying to hurry up and finish with these uh, with these mid months. Um, then I'm going to immediately jump into November. So if some of y'all see, look at the damn, look at the damn, uh, make sure you look at the time frame because some of y'all going to notice that even though I just uploaded some of them signs for mid month, I'm going to start uploading videos for November. So, no, I didn't do duplicate nothing. The only person got a duplicate video was Taurus. And I'm still deciding on if I'm going to upload that other video because it was all over the fucking place. But for some reason right now, I feel like I need to upload that second, the first Taurus video that I did. Where I feel like, damn, why was I all over the place? Like, this not even my energy. But for some of y'all, it may resonate if you're dealing with a Taurus. So, y'all let me know if you want me to drop that other video. Because Taurus is like, drop that video. You know, so, y'all, yeah, y'all root for them bulls. All right? Because they've been showing out. They've been getting over 500 views. I'm like, look at them. They listen. Taurus might be good to me this year. <laughs> yes, indeed, y'all. I love y'all so very much. You guys, if you need a personal again, hit me up. Um, if you want to send any type of donations or anything like that, because guess what? My arms is open to I'm a Pisces moon to put that damn gift from God to open up to receive. I'm opening up to receive, y'all, because I'm having to go buy new everything in the whole new state. So feel free. That information in the damn description, too. Usually, I don't say shit, but I've been praying. It's very like, open your damn mouth. You got a whole damn, you got a whole little army behind you. We family. You built this. Open your damn mouth. But I, that Aries and me be like, nah, that's okay. I'm not going to say anything. But hell, yes, I am. Because guess what? Y'all, I need a damn tripod. Y'all be complaining. Well, Mocha, you need to get another camera. Well, guess what? The camera that I want is $800 fucking dollars and I'm moving. So what we, what we going to do? So you guys tune in to them damn live streams because um, I'm thinking about doing some Q&A so I haven't been on here live with everybody in a long time. So I've been kind of testing the waters a little bit to see if they're going to cut up or not because I'm not for it. Okay. Uh, but with that, um, I'm going to be doing uh, q and A's. I'm going to answer some free questions. I'm going to answer. Um, I'm going to also do a super chat Q and A, but I'm also going to do one for free. So you guys try and pay attention to those live streams from here to November, y'all, because they're going to be lit because I leave the middle of November. So I love y'all very, very, very much, and I will see you guys here for the first half of November. And peace, love, light, much abundance, y'all, and holy nuts. Love y'all, fishies. Bye, babies. <laughs>